All right, KMR, welcome back to the channel. We're about ready to wrap. So the Formula Drift RX-8, we've got the engine uh, completely set up. Uh, the new turbo, wastegates, cleaned injectors, the fresh motor build, which happens to match the gloves, got the green gloves again today, um, is all in and basically ready to start. Um, our startup procedure is fairly basic, um, you know, aside from getting the fresh oil in, which is a 2050 uh, renewable lubricants, uh, we leave the spark plugs out and build oil pressure uh, by cranking the motor uh, with no internal load. So basically by pulling the plugs on a fresh motor and letting it kind of free spin, you're not inducing any extra load on the bearings. So it makes it a little easier to build oil pressure. Um, we had some questions about spark plugs. And uh, this is the uh, 11.5 spark plug. You can see a very small electrode ceramics tucked way down in there it's a racing plug uh, meant to cool down as quickly as possible and not store heat so you don't get a ceramic fracture or uh, any type of electrode uh, issue damage um, part of looking at your spark plugs but uh, in this case we're running one of the coldest plugs available um, recommended by ngk recommended by mazda tricks classic racing rotary plug wouldn't recommend it for a street car uh, we don't have any startup issues any flooding issues i think a lot of that has to do with the maintenance the tune uh, we are doing a lot of maintenance because it is a race car um, it's not sitting around other than in the off season and in this case where we're getting ready for that first start so like i was saying we'll build oil pressure so uh, we're able to get oil to all the bearings to the new turbo um, then the spark plugs will go in and then we'll be able to give it a, a good crank and hopefully it'll start right up. Uh, we'll be watching basically all the data, making sure everything looks good, but uh, everything's expected to look good and we're excited to hear this thing jump to life. So hopefully next uh, two videos, we're gonna be starting this thing up, first start of the year. And then we'll also be showing off uh, the wrap because it's getting wrapped tomorrow. So really happy about that. Um, we're just charging things up, all the body works back together, interiors back together. We've already gone through some of the tech, uh, technical procedure stuff with Formula Drift, uh, but we have some more to go. You can see the dash is in, belts are in, seats are in. We gotta clean up the window. So overall, excited uh, to get out and drive this thing, test out the new setup. I think we're going to get it on the dyno next week just to verify uh, everything's in proper working order before we head out to the racetrack. So if you're liking the videos, if you've enjoyed seeing the build come together, then please follow along as we get this thing wrapped and we take it to the track. Nice wide body, three rotor. Mazda RX-8. Here we've got a little ducting up front. This did make a difference, the aluminum ducting that uh, is in between the bumper and the intercooler. Um, you know, as we've ran the car, even though we have a very large intercooler and we're running that water injection um, and we've got fans on it, it still was having a, a intake air temperature spikes at points of its uh, running career over the past few years. So we ended up adding more ducting, which helped to make sure we weren't losing air that could potentially get into the intercooler setup. And then we also just used some fairly basic foil tape uh, to seal everything off. So that same air was made sure to be sucked through uh, the intercooler and oil coolers. Um, which is a pretty pretty large chunk of the front cooling system. So, uh, you know, things that sometimes you think to yourself, well, you know, we're going sideways. How much of an effect could front ducting possibly have? Well, it had quite a bit of an effect. So that was one of the things we learned um, over the past couple years. And uh, I think that's about a wrap. I've got to uh, stop talking so we can get back to work and uh, get this thing ready to start. Basically put water in it, build oil pressure, 
drop in the plugs and light it off. So thank you for watching and watch for that next first start video. That is a wrap. I'm out of here. Back to work.